Let us try an example to determine the shear resistance of a plaque girdle. Again, we are using the same tutorial questions. The dimensions, the specifications are the same as we discussed in the previous video. Now we are to check the shear resistance of the member. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first we need to determine the C flank. It is to be checked against 15 times epsilon times the thickness of the flank. As beyond that, the flank is considered does not contribute to any shear resistance of the members. In this case, the C flange is equal to 171, which is less than the limit of 15 epsilon thickness. Therefore, the entire flank can be used to contribute to the shear resistance of the member. Next, we need to know the A. The A is actually the spacing between the stiffeners, which is given in the questions. Then we determine the C. The C is given by these equations, and it is actually referring to the positions of the plastic hinge when the member is subjected to the load. The shear load is determined by the maximum shear over the shear force diagram. As for the moment, it is determined by the moment strength over the first sections of the members. As you can see from the shear force and bending moment diagram, the most critical section under shear it will be this. Therefore, we are referring to the first segment of the member. And in the first segment of the member, the most critical shear load it will be the maximum shear load, while the moment is more critical here. Therefore, we are to get the internal moment here. Based on the calculations, we have obtained the internal moment, which is equals to MED1 1223.3 kNm. Next, determine the chi by substitute the relevant number into the equations. The chi f is found to be 0 0.064. Next, we need to determine the shear resistance contributed by the web. To obtain that, we need to refer to table 5.1 in EC3 part 5. From there, you require lambda prime w and also you require eta. The eta is obtained as 1.2 because of the steel grade is less than 460. As for the lambda prime w, you require cathode. To get the cathode, you have to refer to the EC part 5 clause A.3 and you have to check against the A divided by the height of the web. In this case, the ratio is found to be greater than 1. That means the k top is obtained from these equations. We conservatively assume the k top SL equals to 0, where we assume the stiffener does not contribute any shear resistance of the member. Therefore, the k top is calculated by using this equations and it will be equals to 8.2.4. In this case, we found that the lambda prime W is equals to 2.14. By referring to table 5.1, 2.14 is in this category and it is considered as a non-rigid impulse. Therefore, the chi W will be equals to this. This gives you the chi W equals to 0 
then we get the summations of the chi flank and the chi w then to obtain the actual shear force for the member multiply the root you will get the shear resistance of 1111 kilonewton compare the shear resistance against the shear loops it is found that only 57% of the capacity is used that means the shear resistance is considered acceptable